All right, I'm back to the area where I found uh, 1911 Barber, uh, Buffalo, Gold Ring. I found a lot of good things in this area in the past. Um, today I'm going to be hunting with the 6x8 SCF Butterfly Coil. I want to see if I can pull another good find out of here with a smaller coil. Normally I hunt with the stock discrimination pattern in the coin program with silver dollars and half dollars latched in. Today I have a different pattern and here it is. Hope you can see that. It's uh, a more open screen. It should discriminate out uh, most of what I don't want to dig and still allow me to get the good stuff. Since I know there are old coins in this area being masked, I'm removing junk targets like this, this pool tab here. And hopefully that will increase my odds of a good find. We'll see. All right, I just want to point out that I'm hunting in manual sensitivity. The black bar is where the actual sensitivity is. The lighter gray bar is the suggested sensitivity. If I run my sensitivity close to or even a tad under the suggested sensitivity, uh, the detector will run about as smooth as it does in auto sensitivity. And why do I uh, want to hunt in manual? Simple. I get a little bit more depth out of this uh, small coil. Well, as you can see, uh, my discrimination pattern isn't perfect. I still got a nail, but man, look, it's, it's a very old uh, square nail. I'm going to continue to hunt with this discrimination pattern. I mean, shoot, I was finding these with the stock uh, discrimination pattern in the coin program, so I'm not going to stress about it. Oh, here's a decent signal. All right, let's see what she is. You can see the sky in the background, then you can probably tell we got some rain coming. I checked the radar before I left the house, and uh, it showed a, a band of rain headed this way. So I don't know how much time I have, but we'll make the most of it. I see it already. And I don't know what it is. But I'll get in close. Maybe you can see that. I sure can't tell what it is. I think that's silver. Does that look like a barber? Let me clean this up and we'll take a better look at it. Yep, that's definitely a barber. That was only maybe three or four inches deep.
right. Taking a quick look at it. Okay, here we go. This is at a 1906, I think. Now I've been all over this area with my 10 by 12 SCF butterfly coil. And I didn't get this signal because I would have dug it if it sounded as good as it did with uh, the small coil. So I'm happy with the, uh, the small coil and uh, pretty happy with the discrimination pattern I'm using. Barber Dime. All right, uh, there's where I just dug the dime. I just want to show you that uh, I do my very best to refill holes. I don't cut a complete circular plug. I do more of a U-shaped plug, and I always leave a flap so that the roots can remain connected. Um, and as I said, I'm happy with uh, this discrimination pattern, even though... I did find uh, a rusty nail, but you know what? You've, uh, you've, you're, you've got to dig some garbage. There's just no way around it, so uh, it's no big deal. And uh, hey, I found uh, some silver. Pretty cool. Well, uh, the rain is starting to fall, and uh, I think I'm done. I don't want to get soaked. We really need this rain. The ground is bone dry. Uh, it's very hard to dig in, and this rain will soften it up. I'm really glad to see it. I wish uh, each and every one of you the best of luck in your hunts, and happy hunting.